In this video, I'm going to be converting this Crossman C11 BB pistol from CO2 power to HPA or high pressure air. So it'll act like a PCP air gun instead of using the disposable CO2 cartridges. So I bought an air tank, I bought a hose, and I also bought these kits that turn a CO2 cartridge, pistol, rifle, or whatever into PCP. For those that may not be familiar, a PCP air gun uses compressed air to power the weapon. Instead of using a CO2 cartridge, which is all because of compressed air, or cocking it and using spring power, you are using an air tank that oftentimes can be pumped up to about 3500 PSI to fire the weapon. Some of the advantages of a PCP air gun are air capacity compared to a CO2 cartridge, cost because you don't have to continually buy the replaceable CO2 cartridges, higher PSI, meaning higher power, higher PSI and capacity, meaning more shots between refills. And if you buy a compressor like I did, you can refill it right there at home. This is a little noisy, but this is my air compressor. It fills up my HPA or high pressure air tank. Cause let's face it guys, buying these all the time, it's a little bit expensive and annoying. I'd rather just be able to use my compressor and fill up my tank and keep shooting. I found these conversion adapters on Amazon.com and they come in two versions, an S-TW thread or an RG thread. I didn't know what my little gun was gonna be and so I just went ahead and bought both. It was only about nine bucks for both sets. So now we're gonna tear into it and figure out which one fits this gun so first step we're going to remove this grip cover if you've got a co2 cartridge in there that's still got pressure go outside to a safe spot point at the ground pull the trigger boop, 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 until your pressure is down and then you can slowly release this screw down here until it kind of and releases the pressure now that we've got this grip off we're going to put it out of the way we're going to have to find something real small that will fit in there and push that pin out so that we can remove this tab from the bottom of this threaded bolt one end it's in a little bit and the other one it's not i'm assuming that that other end that it's flush to is probably uh bigger around a larger diameter so i'm sure that you push it out from this side i'm going to put that in there and tap that pin out There's the pin. So now this tab came off and we're left with just this piece. Now we're going to go ahead and unscrew it into the gun where we can then pull it out. There's the screw. Now we're going to open these two kits. So that's what the kits look like when you slide them out of the box. This kit is the RG kit. It is definitely not the right thread. And the kits also come with a little instruction book that tells you how to do this. But it looks like we're going to want the STW threads. They're supposed to be only these couple of uh, standard styles. And it looks like that is the proper thread. But let's screw it into the gun and see. We've got the adapter piece. We've got the bottom of the gun. And yes, that screws in just fine. Now we're going to take this adapter and we're going to insert it inside. I put a slight dab of this uh, silicone sealant onto the tip of this adapter piece. Now we're going to screw this adapter piece into the bottom of the gun and tighten it up against this CO2 piece or the CO2 adapter. 
Now, I don't think you want to go over tightening this, or you'll probably cause yourself more harm than good. But get it snug enough that you know you're not going to have air leaks. This conversion is completely reversible, so go ahead and keep your parts and throw them back into the plastic bag that came with the kit or back into the box so you don't lose them and you can go back to CO2 in the future if you choose to. Now, you're going to want to hook up your air adapter. Let's pressurize this thing for the first time. You got to screw this in and we'll end up here in some air. Just a quick little pss is all it was. Let's test it. Now we're running off of air from here instead of an actual CO2. Let's go ahead and load a magazine in here with BBs and we'll go outside and shoot it. I only went just up past a thousand about 1100 PSI into the tank. I didn't want to over pressurize this guy. I got my little target there that I shoot from time to time. I'm going to sit down here in the chair and uh, take aim and we'll see how this thing works. Here's the test fire of the HPA. Working great and it's definitely more power than it had with the CO2s. Awesome. Gonna drop the magazine out just so that I know that it's empty. One last fire, make sure she's empty. Safety on. I don't know if you guys can see my gauge, but I started out pretty much right where it's ending. So I know that it's gonna last quite a while with the pressure. So now that we test fired it, we know there's no leaks, we know that it's fully functional. We're going to go ahead and shut off this valve to relieve the pressure before we disconnect this line. And these valves are different than most. In, screwing it in, allows pressure. Screwing it out, stops pressure, guys. Most, most valves are the exact opposite of that. Okay, now we're going to fire at the ground a little bit. Just to make sure that we get rid of the pressure in the line. Wow, that line holds a lot more pressure than I expected. Okay, now we should be good to remove that for the final step i want this grip to be able to go back on but now we've got this guy sticking out the bottom so get it lined up like you're going to slide it on and i'm going to use a marker and i'm going to mark how wide it is on the bottom see that and then i'm going to put this grip right there where it's supposed to be and I'm going to mark across so now I'm going to cut out that piece of plastic from the bottom and we'll be able to slide this all the way on so I ended up using a cutoff wheel on a grinder and I took out that bottom now that it's cut out we'll do the test fit it's not beautiful on the bottom no more but that's perfectly fine Magazine still comes in and out. It feels better in the hand and it functions on the HPA and that's what matters. Alrighty guys, if you watch the channel, you know this is completely off the beaten path and not something that we talk about on this channel. But ever since I was a kid and I had the little Red Rider BB gun, I've had kind of an infatuation 
And so we've got the sniper rifle, air gun, got the PCP, semi-automatic. I just started getting into the pepper ball guns for self-defense. Got a couple of them. We've done some modifications and added power to this guy. And the burner. That's the number one of the pepper ball guns. I carry that with me everywhere I go. So I thought doing the HPA conversion on another little BB gun that I had laying around sounded like kind of a fun little project. But I wasn't able to find information on YouTube to do that conversion. And I was unsure which kit to order. Do I get this thread or do I get that thread? So I thought to help you guys out, maybe somebody else was searching YouTube like I was searching YouTube and couldn't find the information they wanted. Now you understand which threads are which of the two kits available. So once again, these threads are the RG threads. This set here is the STW. RGs are thicker and shorter. The STW is longer, skinnier, and coarser. So, kind of take a look at your gun that you're trying to convert, and hopefully that helps you out. Because nobody wants to order the wrong shit, especially when you're waiting on it to come from China. If you learned a little something from this video, or you just enjoy watching my goofy antics, hit that thumbs up. really helps out with this small YouTuber trying to grow, trying to beat those evil algorithms. Don't worry guys, we're not turning into an air gun channel. So if you're just into air guns, I probably wouldn't hit that subscribe button. This is kind of a fluke. But if I got enough response to this video, enough demand, enough comments, maybe I'll do some more reviews and some more teaching on HBA conversions. Maybe a review on the compressor that I've got because I haven't seen no reviews on it yet. Etc. So... We'll see how this video turns out, but it's just kind of a bonus video, something that I didn't see on YouTube, and I thought that I could help some folks out. So, till next time, believe in what God gave you guys. Take on some projects, build, fix, create, keep building shit.